For practice it, self-check 16.30 first last, we're asked to write a method first last that could be added to the linked int list class that moves the first element to the back end of the list. Suppose the linked int list variable named list stores the following elements, and if we were to make the list.first last call, it would look like this. Basically our 18 would be moved to the front. If the list is empty or has one element, its contents should not be shifted. To do this, we first need to make our method. We're going to call it, or it's going to be public void because it's not returning anything, and we're calling it first last. It's not taking any parameters, and inside of here we can look at a, we can look at what we need to do. So if the list is empty or just has one element, its contents should not be modified. So we'll have an if statements, and we'll say if our list is empty, so if front is equal to null, or has one element, so if front dot next equals null, then we are just going to return. Once we have our if statement and our return in here, we can start going through our list. So what we want to do is take this front value and move it to the end. To do this, we are going to store the front value in that list node. We're going to call it first, and we're going to set it equal to whatever our front is. And now we're just going to move everything up, so our front is going to be equal to front.next, like this. We don't want to touch our original loop. We don't want to touch our original list, so we're going to make a new one. And this is going to be list node current is equal to front with this being our new front value since everything is going to be moved up a position and we are holding 18. Next we are going to go into a while loop and we're going to do this while current.next does not equal null. Inside of here we are going to just iterate through and then after we break out of our while loop we are just going to add our first value to the end so current dot next is going to equal that value which is first and then we just need to set the next value to null and all we have to do here is just say first dot next because our first value is going to be in current and our first dot next is equal to null that way we are going to have um, our 18 moved here and then a null afterwards to complete our list and we have passed each of the tests.